Hi, so you own a laser, you own a 3D printer, and you'd like to make something special either to sell or maybe to give to someone. I just returned from a trip and I needed to make some gifts for some friends that I met while on vacation. Give me five minutes of your time. I'll show you how I made this with my 3D printer and my laser cutter and engraver. I just returned from an amazing trip overseas. And while there, my wife and I met some wonderful people. And when I got home, we decided we wanted to make something special to send back to them as a way of saying thank you for treating us so well. Now having a workshop with all the great tools I've got, I decided to make some things that, that were, you know, you couldn't buy them in the store. So this is what we came up with. As many of you know, if you've been around uh, the laser business for any length of time, you can certainly engrave acrylic. Uh, that's easy to do. This is an engraved piece of acrylic, which is nice. You can buy these little stands on uh, Amazon. They have little LED lights, but I don't like them. If, if you look, they, they wobble. They, uh, they're just not particularly well made. They're the wrong color. They're kind of dim. They're dark. To me, it looks kind of cheap. So. What I did, since I also have a 3D printer, was to design and print one using the 3D printer. And all of this was printed uh, using the uh, 3D printer. I used the laser cutter and engraver to engrave, if I don't know if you can read it, but music with Vlad, which is the man's name. He's been playing piano at this uh, hotel bar for 30 years. I 3D printed the little on-off switch. And on the back, and I don't know if it can be seen on camera, but this is walnut. The front is also walnut. The side is a walnut inlay. And on the back, it has my name, my wife's name, and it says, thank you for making each evening special. So I made a number of different little signs that he can put in there. He can put it on top of the piano, perhaps, or maybe he wants to take it home and put it on a shelf. Hey, maybe he wants to throw it in the trash. Who knows? But this is something that I could do that was special for him that nobody else could do, that nobody else will have. You can't go down to the store and buy this. And this is something that if you have a 3D printer in your, in your laser cutting engraving business, you can make specialty items like this pretty easily and add to your profits, add to your product line. So I'm going to show you a few little short videos of how this was done. Um, this was uh, created using Fusion 360, printed on a Creality K1 Max printer. And I'll put the links in the video below this is just an idea uh, of something that you could do, uh, make a little extra money, and uh, perhaps create a gift for a friend, and uh, they will hopefully appreciate it. So let's get to the videos. So the first thing we have to do is actually design the piece. I use Fusion 360 by Autodesk. It's a wonderful program. It's amazing what you're able to do with it. It does take some time to learn, and it is complicated, but it's not something that anybody can't do. Uh, you will be able to use it to program your 3D printer. Uh, you could also use it for a milling machine. Once it's finished, this is the process of actually making the product on the 3D printer. This was the first prototype I created. This is the second. So it's typical to go through a couple of prototypes when you're 3D printing something. It seems, at least in my case, I always make a few mistakes. I go through a lot of plastic before I get to the final product. But the good thing is, plastic isn't terribly expensive. Now once we've done that, we're going to design our acrylic sign in uh, light, uh, light burn. This is one of the prototypes I created. I used a small piece of acrylic so as not to waste a big piece. And again, you go through a couple of prototypes. Now this is my Omtec laser printer. and. Here we see it actually cutting out the acrylic. Now in my case, I used, uh, for me, standard uh, speeds and feeds on the acrylic. That's going to vary depending on your type of laser cutter, the amount of power you have, um, you know, the size of the laser tube. Here it is actually cutting out the pieces, and this is at a speed of about uh, 18 uh, inches per minute, and probably about uh, 60 in terms of power, but again, that's going to vary for you. I also used a crosshatch on the uh, actual letters to give it some texture, I guess is probably the best way to put it. And you'll have to experiment. This is going to be different for every laser printer. Uh, 
each one will be different. It'll be different between a CO2 and a diode laser. Some people have diode lasers and it will vary greatly uh, depending on the type that you have. But it's, again, fairly easy to figure out. Lightburn, the program that drives most of these devices, is actually quite easy to use. It's, it's very powerful and uh, in, in capable hands. It is really amazing at some of the products that get turned out. When you're finished, you have something that hopefully you'll be proud of. Hopefully this is something that you wouldn't find in a store, something that the person you're giving it to will enjoy, or if you're selling it, something you can make a very good profit on. I find it tremendously rewarding to create things like this, and I give them away. But again, this is a product that might sell for a few hundred dollars if you had to go buy it. So there you have it. With the right tools and the right equipment, you too can have fun and make money from your home workshop. So until next time, I'm Bruce with the Edge of Innovation Workshop YouTube channel. Hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss an episode. Thanks again.